Korean Quilt. Hey everybody, so glad that you could make it. And this is Korean Quilt, of course, and I'm Anna. And I'm Anna too. <laughs> I just want to be Anna for a day. Okay, you can be me for a day because it's like being a queen for a day. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. Whoa. <laughs> pardon? <laughs> okay, today we're going to learn how to ask if something or someone is exclusive for foreigners. Okay? So, 외국인 전용인가요? Is it exclusive for foreigners? Mm-hmm. So we'll try that a few times today because it is a tough phrase. So if you don't hear it exactly the first couple of times, don't despair. Mm-hmm. 외국인 전용인가요? Right. So, uh... For example, this hotel, you can ask, excuse me, this hotel, 외국인 전용인가요? Or this restaurant, this restaurant, 외국인 전용인가요? Right, now you probably have two questions. One, why is this question such a mess in Korean? Mm -hmm. And two, is it actually used? And the thing is, is if you've you've been in Korea for a while, you'll know that sometimes there are certain places that are reserved, like a private club, for example, for foreigners. And that's when you'll be using this expression, or at least you'll be seeing it Mm -hmm. and recognizing the meaning. 외국인 전용, which will be exclusive to foreigners. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, even to make you more confused, I will give you (laughs) two more expressions that are a little bit longer. Uh, If you want to ask, you know, specifically if this hotel is exclusive for uh, foreigners, you can say, 외국인 전용 호텔 어디인가요? Oh, that's wonderful, because you know what? Sometimes I like being confused, too. <laughs> but our stock phrase from today, mm-hmm. 외국인 전용인가요? Is it exclusive for foreigners? Exactly. So, practice, and we'll see you back here next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.